Well, what is going on everybody? Beast HD here, and today I am bringing you guys my first tutorial in about three or four months now. And the reason being is that I was actually living and working in New York City for the whole summer. So I basically, I didn't really have that much time to be making tutorials. And also, even if I had have made a few tutorials, the internet in my apartment was absolutely terrible. So it would have taken a few days to upload them, which would have made me very unhappy. So basically for the last three months, I haven't really done much with YouTube. But now that I am back at home, I have good, I have access to good internet and I also have some free time. So I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more tutorials in the very near future. In the next few weeks, expect to see a lot of tutorials coming your way. And um, yeah, basically today I'm going to bring you guys a tutorial on how to make an end card outro for your videos. And you can basically see an example of an end card on the screen right now. It's just something you can stick at the end of your videos and it gives your audience kind of somewhere to go. Um, the audience can see some more of your uploads and then you can link them uploads and you can basically just promote your other videos at the end of one of your videos. So uh, it's a really good idea and it's really easy to make. So I'm just going to jump straight into Photoshop now and uh, we'll get going with this tutorial. And as always there will be a link in the description to um, a folder that will have a few images that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. It just makes your life a bit easier. So if you want to go ahead and download that, then once you have that downloaded, we're going to go into Photoshop. We're going to hit Control N or Command N if you're on a Mac. Your width is going to be 1920 pixels. Your height is going to be 1080 pixels. Resolution 72 pixels slash centimeter. And then we're just going to hit OK. You can have the background color, whatever you want it to be, to be honest. So once we are in Photoshop, we are going to go down here to these two boxes. Your boxes will probably be white, so I'm just going to do that right now. Um, your boxes should look something like this. If I could swap it one sec. There we go. Your boxes will look something like this. So we're going to go down here to this black box. Click on the black box, and I'm going to change the color to red. And then I'm just going to hit OK. It doesn't really matter what shade of red it is, just as long as it's some sort of red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control or Command if you're on a Mac. And then I'm going to hit Backspace. And this is just going to fill my canvas here with a lovely little red. <laughs> so once that is done, I'm going to hit Control O or Command O if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to open up O1.jpg. So I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to open up in a new template here. I'm going to go down to the background over here. Double click on the background to unlock the layer and I'm going to hit OK. Make sure you're on your move tool. I am indeed. So I'm going to left click and just drag this image straight into our new template. <clears throat> so once it's in here, I'm going to go to where it says normal. I'm going to hit this drop down menu and then I'm going to hit subtract like so. And then I'm going to hit control or command if you're on a Mac. So control J. This will duplicate the layer. Once again, I'm going to go to where it now says subtract. I'm going to hit that drop down menu and now I'm going to hit divide. And it just gives you a really cool gradient, kind of a black and red gradient. It looks pretty nice. So uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do for the background. I'm just going to leave the background like that. So now let's get into making some of our boxes that you can put your videos or your thumbnails into. So to do this, we're just going to go very easily down here to this rectangle tool. Just click that once and then you're going to left click and drag out to make your rectangle. doesn't really matter what size it is, but make it pretty big so people can actually see what you're going to be um, advertising. So once we have that done, you're going to come up here to where it says fill. I'm going to click this drop down menu and then click on this little grey box with a red line through it. That means it will be filled with nothing, so it's going to be transparent. Then I'm going to come over here to where it says stroke. I'm going to click on the stroke. You can basically make this whatever colour you want. I'm just going to stick with yellow for the moment and then I'm going to change the size of the stroke up to 6 like so. I'm just going to hit my move tool which is the top tool up here really quick and I'm just going to move this up a little bit like so. So once we have that done I'm going to come over here to where it says rectangle 1. I'm going to right click on that and go up to blending options and now we're going to add a bevel and a boss so just click on the box beside bevel and a boss, click on the box beside contour and also click on the box beside uh, satin. I believe it is. It is indeed. So now that we have that done, I'm just going to hit OK. Once again, I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate this layer. And I'm just going to drag it over here like so. So you can basically make whatever, like however many boxes you want to make. I'm just going to have two for this, but you can have four or five. I just think it kind of looks a bit cluttered if you have a load of um, boxes. 
because people will be looking at each one and then they won't know which one to click on and by that time your end card will have ended so uh, they won't be able to click on any of the videos anymore so i'm just going to have two and then i'm also going to have a subscribe up here or you can basically add in whatever text you want if you want to add in a twitter or a facebook logo or stuff like that you can indeed so once i have that done i am once again going to hit Control j and then i'm going to hit Control t and i'm just going to left click at the top and just rotate this box around a tiny bit like so it's a bit too much i'm going to bring it back a little bit uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want to i just think it looks a little bit better it gives kind of something more to look at so once that is done i'm going to hit the tick up there and then once again i'm going to hit Control j we're going to move this one across here like so and then once again Control t i'm going to right click now and i'm just going to hit flip horizontal and then I'm going to hit the tick again. So now we have two boxes here. And <clears throat> on rectangle uh, one, copy two, I'm going to hit that. So rectangle one, copy two, I'm going to go up here to where it says properties. Um, and then I'm going to go into where it says masks. And I'm going to go and hit this feather. I'm going to bring the feather up to about five or six. Uh, there we go. It doesn't have to be exact like so and then i'm gonna drag this rectangle one copy just down above rectangle one like so so just it's behind and then i'm gonna go to rectangle one copy three and do the exact same thing i'm gonna bring the feather up to about six like so and there we go it just makes i don't know just adds a little bit of something else into our end card it makes it look a bit original and a little bit cool right so once that is done i'm then going to go hit and control o once again and i'm going to bring in this subscribe button so i'm just going to double click that subscribe button and it will open up in a new template and i am just going to right click make sure you're on your uh move tool going to left click and drag the subscribe button straight into our template like so and then i'm going to hit control t and just size this down a little bit like that now i'm going to hit that tick once again and once we have this once we have the subscribe in i'm going to hit this drop down menu and i'm going to go to pin light um i don't know i just think it has a cool effect it kind of makes the background an our, our gradient and it just looks pretty cool so once that is done i'm going to add our text in now so very easily enough come down here to this capital t click on that left click to drag out your box your text box and then <clears throat> type in whatever you want. I'm just going to have previous, uh, like so. So you can use whatever font you want. The font I'm using is called Caviar Dreams. Um, it's a free font you can get on 1001fonts.com. Just type it into Google and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But you can use whatever font you basically want to use. So I'm going to bring this font down here like this. I'm going to hit Control T. Then I'm going to rotate it a tiny bit by left clicking over in the corner and just dragging down. Like so. Oh, I have to apply, just hit apply the transformation. So there we go, there is previous and now I'm going to add some more text. Uh, video. The reason I am not just doing the text all in one box is because I want to have one word slanted along this line here and then the other word straight so to do that i have to just do separate text box text boxes which is a little bit annoying but sure it's not too bad it doesn't take too long or anything and then um one more time text box i'm just gonna have next or you can have random video or something here you can have basically whatever text you want here <clears throat> like so and then finally one more text box really quickly video I'm going to bring this over here once again control t and i'm going to left click and just rotate this a tiny bit i'm going to hit this arrow and then move it up like so i'm just going to leave it like that so uh, i think it's looking pretty cool at the moment and um, it's looking very original and it's just a nice really easy end card for your videos that just basically it's like an outro except it gives people a place to go you can link all your videos and stuff like that so um we have a tiny bit more text to add here like i said you can basically add whatever you want into this end card i'm just gonna have a uh, click here to and i'm just gonna center this up 
there we go so we have a click here to subscribe and then you can link that with an annotation and I'm just gonna hit the up arrow to uh, move this text up a tiny bit <clears throat> so finally we're gonna hit control O once again and I'm gonna bring in this light streak .jpeg. this is just gonna add something else to it I'm gonna double click the background layer to unlock it just hit OK then I'm gonna hit control T once again left click and drag down one of the corners just to resize it because this image is really big make sure we're on our move tool we are indeed so once again left click drag straight it drag this straight into our template like so I'm gonna hit control T once again to resize this down because like I said this image is huge I'm just gonna bring this up and I'm gonna rotate this to the right like so might make it a tiny bit bigger and then I'm gonna hit that tick. I'm gonna come over here to this drop down menu once again where it says normal. Hit that, I'm gonna to go to where it says screen. I'm gonna click on screen. And now I'm going to hit control U on the keyboard. This will bring up the hue and saturation. I'm gonna check the colorized box and then I'm gonna bring the saturation right up to the top. This is gonna make it red like so. And then I'm also gonna go down here to where it says opacity. Bring the opacity down to about 50. Just like that and then I'm gonna make sure my layer 3 is underneath the subscribe picture if I can find the subscribe picture I cannot so I'm just gonna bring the layer 3 right down there like so and then I'm gonna hit Control J once again to duplicate the layer and I'm just gonna drag it over to the other side Control T and then right click and then hit flip horizontal like so so this just adds a little bit more of an effect into our um, end card so basically that's all you really have to do if you want to add in more text or more text more boxes from uh, different videos you can of course do that indeed and um, <clears throat> basically if you want to just use thumbnails in these boxes you can just hit control O bring in your thumb your thumbnail and put it in here or if you want to use a uh, picture in picture which is basically like what I had where you actually have a video um, in one of these boxes then you can use picture in picture a lot of programs have a uh, Sony Vegas has it Pinnacle Studios has it you can look up a lot of different tutorials on how to do that as well so it's basically it's just really easy it's something to add to your channel branding on your YouTube channel and it makes your channel stand out and uh, yeah I really hope you enjoyed if you did do please leave a like and as I said at the beginning beginning of this video there will be a lot more tutorials coming very shortly so please do stick around and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.